Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will discuss how to get started with an Arduino. So what is an Arduino? It's a powerful open source platform that turns simple ideas into real-world electronic innovations, making it incredibly easy to bring projects to life. It's basically a tiny computer, which is known as a microcontroller board. Several versions of Arduino boards are available on the market, like Arduino Uno, Nano, Mega, Pro Mini, and more. I have these two types of Arduino boards. This one is Arduino Uno, and this one is Arduino Nano. Both of these are the most popular and commonly used boards compared to others. These Arduino boards are very cheap and easily available on the market. You can program the boards to control lights, motors, sensors, and many more electronic devices. Just write a simple code on your computer, upload it to the board, and your project comes to life. You can command an Arduino to make something creative within a few minutes. Yes, as simple as this. You just need a basic knowledge of computer programming. Arduino mainly uses a simplified version of C++ for coding. When you write a program, it's mainly C or C++ coding language that's made easier with some special Arduino functions. But before you do that, you'll need to install the Arduino IDE and a USB driver on your computer. Arduino IDE is the software where you can write the code to control an Arduino. You'll also need to install a USB driver to connect the Arduino to your computer via a USB cable. If you don't install this driver, your computer won't recognize the Arduino board and will show an error like this. Now let's install and set up the IDE and USB driver. To install the Arduino IDE, open your browser and search for Arduino IDE on Google or simply visit arduino.cc. Download and install the software from here. This software is free to download, but you can donate to them if you want. Okay, after successful download, go to the installation file and double click to install it. After installing, launch the Arduino IDE. The software interface looks like this. After installing the IDE, download the USB driver as well. Arduino uses the CH340C driver IC to convert USB signals to serial UART interface for communicating with your computer. You can see the driver IC here. Okay, now go to Google and search for CH341 SER driver. Click on the WCH official website and download the latest version of the driver. This driver software is also free to download. After downloading, install it on your computer. Here I'm only installing the 340C driver. So if your computer doesn't recognize the UNO board, which uses CH9102XIC, then try installing the 9102X driver as well in the same process. Now your computer is ready to communicate and program an Arduino board. Now let's know about the pinouts of the Arduino boards. Understanding the pin configuration is essential for connecting sensors, modules, and other components to your board properly. The Arduino Uno is one of the most popular and beginner-friendly microcontroller boards. The heart of this module is the 8Mega 328P 8-bit AVR microcontroller. The module offers a total of 28 pins that include digital, analog, power, and communication functions. It features 14 digital input-output pins of which 6 support PWM output for applications like dimming LEDs or controlling motor speed. Pins D0 and D1 handle serial communication with a computer. The board also provides 6 analog input pins for reading analog sensors like potentiometers or joysticks. For power, the UNO includes a voltage input pin and a DC socket for external power supply, 5V and 3.3V outputs, and multiple GND pins for grounding circuits. The reset pin allows for manually restarting the board. It supports I2C communication via A4 and A5 pins and SPI communication through pins D10, D11, D12, and D13. The D13 pin also connects to the onboard LED, which is useful for quick testing. For Nano, there isn't much difference between Uno and Nano. Most of the features are the same including the main chip, which is obviously 8 Mega 328P. It's just the SMD version of the microcontroller. Also, the Nano provides 8 analog input pins compared to the 6 pins of the Uno. The Nano is a small, portable and breadboard-friendly board, while the Uno is bigger and has more shield compatibility. You can use any of the boards for your future projects. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison of both boards for you to easily understand. Now, let's connect and run the first program on the Arduino board. Grab your USB cable and connect the Arduino board to your computer. Here I'm using the Uno board. After connecting, you should see the power LED on the board light up, that means it's getting power. Next, open the Arduino IDE on your computer. Once the IDE is open, go to Tools, Board and select your board model whichever you're using. Then, under Tools, Port, choose the correct COM port. This is how your computer talks to the board. If you don't see any port, try reinstalling the USB driver that I showed earlier. You can also choose the COM port and board easily from this top section. There are many built-in examples in the Arduino IDE. 
I'm showing the classic test sketch that makes the onboard LED blink. For this, go to File, Examples, Basics, and then open the blink sketch. Here is the short code for the LED blinking project. In the setup function, a digital write pin needs to be defined as an output. The code defines the built-in LED as the output, which is mainly the D13 pin. You can define any digital pin as an output that I'll show in a moment. The loop function runs the code over and over again forever. Here in the code, the digital write pin will be high for a second and low for a second, and it will run forever. The delay function works in milliseconds. Here, 1000 means one second, 500 means half second, and so on. Now click the upload button. It'll take a while to compile and upload the code to the Arduino. After successful uploading, you'll see the built-in LED start blinking with a one second delay time. That means your Arduino board is alive and responding. Yes, as easy as this. This time I'm using a nano board with an external LED. But first the correct board and COM port must be selected properly. Otherwise the code won't be uploaded. I'm selecting the nano board and COM port 9, then uploading the code. In the code, the built-in LED is defined as the output. So I'll connect the external LED to Arduino Digital Pin 13. You can see the LED is blinking with a one second delay. Now, I'll customize the output pin and delay time for you to understand better. With the help of a relay module, you can also control a 220-volt AC LED or other electric device by an Arduino. I'll explain this in the relay module tutorial. That's how you can write and control your Arduino board. From now on, you can start customizing code, adding sensors, or building your own projects. I'll show you all these in my future videos. That's all for today. I hope this video gave you a clear and confident start with Arduino. From understanding the board, installing the drivers, exploring the pinouts, to actually connecting and running your first sketch. So if you found my video helpful, give it a like, share it with a fellow maker, and don't forget to subscribe for more Arduino and DIY content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep creating and stay curious.